But thank you, Vito, for taking the time. My name is Liliana. I'm an LA-based journalist, so thank you. You look very relaxed, so I love that for you. Uh, thank you, Liliana. Appreciate it. So I know you're no stranger to big stages. You were in the last tank card, so you are definitely no stranger to to the big cards. Do you still get a little bit of jitters coming in? I know it's this Canelo versus Munguia on Amazon first time for you on Amazon. How do you feel coming in? Yeah, I'm I'm anxious. I'm ready to go. I had a good training camp. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. This is a dream of mine to fight on a single de mile weekend card. Uh, since I've been a kid, I've always watched them. I've even fallen asleep since I was so young. I fall asleep before the main event. But when the main event would come on, I've always, you know, ready to go, ready to watch. So it's been a dream of mine to fight on a single de mile card and especially a Canelo card. He's one of my favorite fighters. So I'm excited. So do you know who your opponent is? Have they told you? What do you know about your opponent? And how hard yeah, is I'm... it coming in so early into a fight sometimes with um you as a you know, as still as an up and comer, sometimes mm -hmm. just getting last minute, you know, opponents. How do you adjust to that? Yeah, I'm uh fighting Ronald Cruz. We've had him as an opponent for the last I think seven weeks, eight weeks. So before I even mm -hmm. got in a camp. So uh, obviously, like you said, boxing, anything can happen. Opponent changes last minute. But, uh, yeah, Ronald Cruz is my opponent. I know he's coming. He's coming to win. He's coming to fight. He's probably my toughest opponent to date. And uh, I'm excited. We had a great camp. I am expect I expect to go in there and dominate on May 4th. You are on a four-knockout streak, you know, stoppages, mm -hmm. getting them out of there. Do you want to get some rounds in? Because this is your first card. You were pretty active, you know, last year, especially in the last mm -hmm. end of the year. Do you want to, you know, kind of get some rounds in? to get your, you know, your, your body going for the rest of the year? Are you trying to get in there and make a statement? I mean, you're always going in there to make a statement, but um, I'm prepared for all 10 rounds, whatever, whatever happens that night, 10 rounds early, whatever it is. But um, yeah, uh, if you could get a guy out of there, I don't care who it is. You're always, you always want to get him out of there. You know what I mean? You could, like they say, you don't get paid for overtime. So, um, but I expect the great, uh, the best version of Ronald Cruz on May 4th. And uh, I'm excited to put on a great show for the fans, a great fight. But uh, I expect to dominate for sure. On previous uh, camps, we've seen you sparring with Jermall Charlo, right? And and mm -hmm. he's one of those guys who a lot of people don't give him credit for his IQ. And he has some decent uh, pop behind his punches. What did you learn? What did you take from that, from, from you know, being in the ring with, with Jermall? And what, what have you, you know, learned from, from sparring him? Yeah, all aspects of just being in that championship level, championship level, like caliber work every day. It was, we did over a hundred rounds in sparring. So uh, as a young guy, getting that kind of work is, you don't really get that often. So it was truly a blessing. I learned a lot inside and outside the ring. But um, yeah, Jamal, he's shared the ring with me a hundred something rounds. And we got a hundred and something rounds of good work, all competitive work. So it was truly a blessing. I saw that people were unbugging you in the comments, like, hey, is he fighting Canelo? Do you get that a lot of someone who, like, you know, is a tough guy now? They see that you're, you know, you're good and they, the top guys want to spar you. Mm -hmm. Do you get now other people trying to ask you, you know, hey, you know, so what's it like? Either other fighters or people, you know, who are fans or just people around you. You get people bugging you constantly about these guys that you spar. Yeah, for sure. Um, A lot of people, you know, want to know the insight of what goes on in camp and what happened in sparring. But that's like uh, fighters know you just some mm -hmm. things you just don't talk about. And some things that happen in the gym, you just keep in the gym. You know what I mean? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens in the boxing <laughs> gym stays in the boxing gym. But, um, yeah, it was – but Jamal, we had great rounds, great competitive rounds. Um, Just overall, every every round was good. So all great rounds. And it's, it is a little refreshing to hear you say that because, you know, I think you are, you know, you're 21, right? Yeah. And right now you see a lot of guys, especially on the younger side, try to use a lot of controversial, you know, saying things to like get, you know, more notice. So you seem to be very respectful. And, and I guess that brings me to what is your take, you know, on, on the guys who, who I guess like you kind of come in and, and don't want to. What, you sparring footage to blow up yeah, on Instagram like the and stuff? Yeah, like sparring footage. Yeah. The, the secrets, the, you know, this guy did this. Mm -hmm. What's your take on all of that? Because, you know, sometimes some people's like, it's okay. But as someone who I've been in around gym culture, we just know you just don't record that. But, you know, yeah. what's your take on, on 
I guess that type of, you know, a strategy, I guess, to, to get yeah. more views. Um, I'm not big on the posting, sparring footage and everything. And a lot of times you'll see a lot of guys sparring even lesser like caliber guys and getting off on them and, and posting. I'm not really big on that. You know what I mean? I think, like I said, I'm, but I guess I've been doing this for so long that it's nothing that really comes to my mind to post sparring. I feel like post your sparring. If you want to record, you could keep it to yourself to learn from. And that's, that's the only time I ever record sparring is to watch it back and learn from whatever things that I did wrong things that I liked that my opponent was doing in sparring just to learn from not to post. I've also seen that you've been on another podcast and, and you have a hashtag, you know, strive for greatness. And that seems to be the right, you know, the right mentality to come in, especially as an athlete, but just mm -hmm. this past weekend, I think Ryan made like headlines. He broke the internet with him drinking and doing the most and, there are some people who are saying, well, now do you really need to train them that hard? Is it okay if you have maybe a drink or two every now and then like other athletes do? Because baseball players go out after a game and, and get a drink, right? Like yeah. in boxing and combat sports, I'd see that it's a little different. What is your take on on that? Because you, I see your training and, and your dedication. What is your, your take on, you know, maybe having a drink or two within camp? Yeah, I think camp is camp for a reason. Camp is to be locked in, dialed in. A lot of guys, you know, I guess. And there's probably a lot of guys who do drink and stuff behind the scenes, but just don't put it out there. Um, Ryan is choosing to put it out there to make it known and to be, I guess, authentic mm -hmm. in himself. But, um, yeah, I mean, I just focus on me. I just focus on me and whatever, you know. For me, that's not how I would do what I would do. But I'm also not a drinker. I'm not mm -hmm. into the party scene, into the party life. So I guess it's different for me. But yeah, I put I dedicate my life to this sport, and I'll continue to do that. Um, because I have a dream and a goal of, in that I've had since I'm seven years old. And yeah, I'm not gonna stop till I get there. So just gonna keep pushing forward, continue to live my life, and continue to stay true to me. And to turn it back to you, um, you already 18 fights in. Is there a punch that maybe you like that you're like, this is my signature punch, or maybe you feel like my footwork is really, is really well, you know, I, I work my foot yeah. with my footwork really well. What is something that you feel that you're, you're morphing into? This is going to be my thing. Yeah. Um, obviously, like you said, I had the four knockouts last year. Mm -hmm. Um, but the most important fight in boxing is the jab that sets up everything. So mastering my jab is going to be, key for me because that'll set up a lot of big shots for me so i'd say my jab my jab is my bet my favorite punch this um weekend we also have virgil ortiz who just moved up to uh super welter he's gonna fight uh Bertha no the other guy's fighting Bertha Lee. he's gonna mm. i don't know who he's fighting i know he's fighting the guy that boots and is already like beat up in the first delorme round. delorme yes thank you yeah. oh my god See, yeah you no know. you're good yeah. <laughs> but how do you feel, uh, you know, about Virgil coming in? And is that a fight that maybe you see coming in? I know they're already talking about him with Sue, but is that mm -hmm. a fight that you'd be maybe interested in? Or are you going to watch that fight at all? Yeah, do I'll definitely watch, watch it. Division? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool, good friends with Virgil. We, uh, we've we talked several times, but um, I would, I'm definitely going to tune in and watch. I know that they're making that huge card that just got announced in August. Uh, they already have him lined up to fight Tim Zhu. But, um, yeah, Virgil is uh, all nonstop action. So I'll be excited to watch that. Um, he's a great fighter. I think we're in different stages of our career right now. Yeah. But whenever, listen, when my time comes, then, gotta be, then we're ready to fight everybody. But um, right now we're still growing. We're still leveling up each and every time we step in there. So just going to continue to grow, continue to prepare to the best of my ability each and every time I get in there and uh, my time will come when it's time. Lastly, let the fans know where they can follow you because I see that you have a TikTok as well. And right now TikTok is like popping, even though supposedly it's going to get banned. Yeah. But, you know, let everyone know they can follow you on TikTok and Instagram, your sponsors, right? And yeah. if you're open to more sponsorships, like what can they hit you up at? Yeah, for sure. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone supporting me around the world. 
Uh, your love and support for me means the means the most to me, so I'm beyond blessed. But follow me on Instagram at Vito Malnicki, Twitter at Vito Malnicki Jr., TikTok at Vito Malnicki, and uh, obviously all my sponsors, OnlyFans, ASRV, Gandolfo. I have so many Gandolfo stables. Uh, I don't want to. I have so many. I don't even want to keep naming them because if I miss them all. But um, if you do want to sponsor me. Uh, my agent's contact information is in my Instagram bio. Uh, he I'm gonna link your that. Instagram as well. So yeah, and, and, and one more, one more main event prediction. Who are you rocking with? I have to ask you the main event prediction. And if there's any other fight in the card, this is a stacked card. Like I mm -hmm. can't wait to to. This is gonna be a badass card. So you know, even the prelims with you know you're you're there stacked. Yeah. So any other cards you're looking into on the main event prediction, please. Um. I, I'm a like I said, I'm a Canelo fan. I'm gonna go with Canelo. I think it'll be nonstop action, all out Mexican war. I'm excited for it. And uh yeah, I think like I said, it's gonna be a nonstop action and I think it'll go down as one of the fights of the year for sure. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Vito. I really appreciate right. you giving me the time today. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are just gonna send it to me, right? Yes, I will. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. Good Bye. luck. Bye. Thank you.